to the question, where is Crimea in that? I'm so hesitant actually to ever suggest that there again might be some kind of territorial concession after the extraordinary sacrifices uh, that Ukraine has made. And I, I don't want to imply that, uh, you know, I expect that they can take it or actually cannot. I think this is an open question. Here's the scenario. If they can, in the spring summer offense of this year, uh, sever the ground link that Russia has, the ground bridge, as it's called, that Russia has established that goes from Russia proper down into Ukraine. Um, and so they block that. Then Russia is dependent on the Kerch Strait Bridge uh, to keep Crimea resupplied. Uh, if you can take that down again, or part of it, of course, was knocked down earlier, uh, and then force it to rely on ferries. And then if you can start taking them out. Now, these are very, very challenging uh, actions and operations, but I put nothing. Uh, the Ukrainians have shown incredible innovativeness, uh, initiative, skill. You know, they're called the ultimate MacGyvers. They can make anything work. They can adapt a, a harm missile from an F-16 and put it on a MiG-29 and so forth. If you can isolate Crimea fully, and if you then have the precision munitions with greater range and can start picking off uh, the Black Sea Fleet headquarters, the various air bases, the various seaports, and all the rest of this, um, again, it is not inconceivable uh, that you could sufficiently isolate it uh, and then at some point in time uh, either go in on the ground or have some kind of concession in the other direction. So this is, I think, how you'd think about this, uh, David. Um, but again, so much of this is so dependent on that very first issue that we discussed, and that is the ability to generate additional forces and capabilities in the next few months. And then it depends on decisions uh, that I'm sure are being discussed right now in Western capitals, uh, and especially in Washington, when it comes to the additional capabilities that I've described. I'd also add advanced drones here because they can be incredibly important, as you well know, for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities and possibly also for strike capabilities if you enable that as well. So that's just sort of thinking our way through both the end game and how Crimea might or might not fit into it.